Okay, now in this section, we are going to continue with the same basic commands what uh, where we have left in the previous uh, video. So let's try to get into some more passwords. Now we have one more password which we can assign is enable. You know, enable password we call it as. And whenever you type enable command by default, this is my user mode. And I want to ensure that I want to go to the privilege mode. So that is your hash mode we can say. This is your credentials mode. Now, when, when anyone tries to go to the next mode, I want my router to prompt for the password. If the password is correct, then only the user has to go to the privilege mode. Because normally in the production networks, you will have some level one engineers, the junior level engineers, mostly they will be working at this level and they have only very basic level access. And I want these engineers to go to the next mode and to get access and to get access to everything or to get into the command line or to verify each and every configurations. I don't want to do that. I want to restrict them here only. So in this kind of scenarios, I can configure an enable password, which is going to prompt for the password whenever you type enable. If you provide the correct password, then you will be allowed to get into the, get into the next mode. That is my hash mode or else you will not be allowed. So let's do that. And uh, to, to make that possible, we have two set of commands. Either I can use enable password and I can type any password, whatever you want. Or I can give enable secret, I can type any password. Now the only difference between these two is uh, when you give this command, this is no more used. The password will be stored in a clear text. And when I give this command, enable secret, the password will be stored in, the, in your running configurations in an encrypted text. Let's verify. Let's verify uh, on that. Okay. So let me just get into the command line of the router. Already I have some passwords configured on the routers. So I'm getting into the command line and I'm going to say enable password and I'm going to give the password as Cisco123. Okay. Let me just change it to anything it can be. Okay. Cisco123 is a password. Now let me verify whether it is working or not. To verify, we need to exit back. Now, which password it is asking here? The console password, right? The console password. Because whenever you, uh, you before you see any command line, you will be either prompted for the console password or you'll be prompted for the auxiliary password or you will be prompted for the telnet password, depending upon the line you are selecting. Right now, I'm using my router via console. So I have to give the console password. I think it is Cisco one, two, three. Okay. Now you can see, now you can see the first one. Now you can see when I give enable again, it is asking the password and the password is Cisco one, two, three again. If I give the correct password, then only the router will allow you to go to the next mode. That is your user uh, privilege mode, the hash mode. Now the major drawback with the first command is it is going to store your password in a clear text. So which means I don't want, uh, I, I don't want to store the password in a clear text. Uh, I, I'll show the difference. Let me just do one more thing. So CCNA123 is a password for enable secret. Let me show you the difference. When I give show running config, you can find the difference very clearly here. If I give enable secret, this is my CCNA123, I think so. So can you see, it is it CCNA123, can you understand? It's completely encrypted. Because in the production networks normally when these are the configurations, now these configurations will be uh, taken a backup and it will be stored uh, in a separate files. And these files can be opened with a notepad. And if it is not stored in a clear text, in that case, uh, the engineer normally then your day-to-day -day engineer, probably what he can do is, uh, even though he's taking a backup, so I don't want uh, to anyone to open that with a notepad and see the passwords or maybe uh, you're doing some troubleshooting maybe one of your engineer also watching you uh, probably when i give show running config he can clearly see my password so i don't want that to happen so to do that what i can do is i can simply use enable secret instead of enable password so if i give both which is going to be preferred Enable secret is going to be preferred. It will not ask for enable this one. It will not work even though it is configured on your router. Okay. So if you just verify now, show running config, show run 
running configurations. I can say this password is CCNA123. Uh, and then, but the problem is, you know, when I give enable secret, it is going to enable only its own password, but not the other passwords. What about these passwords? I might want to encrypt all the passwords. In that case, I can use a command called service password hyphen encryption. Now this command is going to allow me to encrypt each and every password inside your running configurations. So if you want to encrypt the password display on all the all the password displays in your running configs, we can use this command called service password hyphen encryption. Let's verify, show running config. You can see enable password is also encrypted and even this password is also encrypted, not auxiliary here. So all this password will be encrypted here. Okay. So the next thing, the, the next thing we, we just go and verify, the last thing is saving the configurations. So whatever the configurations I did here, they all are in my running configurations. Okay, so to save the configurations, what we can do is we can, uh, what we can do is we can just go and say, copy run start. There's a one simple command we can use. Copy from the RAM to the NVRAM. Okay. Why? Because if I go and check my configurations, show startup config, still the configurations are not present in the NVRAM, which means if I power off my device, uh, I'm going to lose all my configurations, So, which is something I really don't want. So in that case, I need to save my configurations copy from RAM to NVRAM or we can simply use write memory command or write command and the write command also will go is going to do the same job but uh, we generally use some copy commands now uh, because it has some variations here from RAM to NVRAM, NVRAM to RAM uh, copy commands which we use more when we do some backup restore options okay so we'll be getting into some more uh, copy command later on and just press enter it's going to ask the destination file name again press enter is going to save your configurations which means if i give show startup config i can see all the configurations so even if i reload my router due to some reasons uh, all the passwords all the names whatever the changes i did up to now uh, will be present in the configurations let's verify hopefully i remember the password cisco123 and then enable password also i use cisco123 not cisco123 it's ccna123 i think yeah. Okay. So you can see everything is exactly the same uh, way that I have left with all the passwords. And if you want to erase the configurations, we can use erase startup configurations. Uh, let's say this is something more applicable. Uh, if you have a router in your network or in the company network, probably it is in my storeroom. And I, I, one of my router is down as of now. I want to use that particular router in my production network or maybe I want to use that router in any one of the branch office. So before I use that particular router, I need to ensure that I erase all the configurations inside that. And that, that's the case where we want to do. So let's do it. Erase startup config, it is asking us the confirmation. You can press enter and then just reload the router. Now the router is going to behave just like a new device without any running configurations. So you can see you are going to setup mode, just give the setup mode no command, it's going to behave just like a new router.